how to draw an irregular shape in Photoshop. In this case, I'm going to be talking about custom shapes, not obviously just drawing a brush shape or uh, any other design. Custom shape. Right, there's, as with most things in Photoshop, there's actually quite a few ways of doing this, and I'm just going to go through a few of the steps. There's about six or seven I can think of anyway. I'm certain there's more. Right, well, I'm going to go through the first one, and that's go through to the pen tool. I'm just going to go over pen tools here, pen tool. And you just click the document, and I'm just going to quickly click the document, just quickly, so you can pull out the anchor points. I'm just going to make quite a unusual shape. Just do that. Just keep clicking the document, different places, and end. Just click the first point. So that's that's the basic quick design. Now, to actually convert it into a shape, you can, of course, go over to the work part here. There's a pass panel. And I'm just going to go there. I can actually fill the path. Also, I can just go to the shape. Just click that. That's a quick and easy way of creating it into a shape. And once you've done that, actually, if you want to preserve it and actually save it as a shape, another thing to do is edit, define custom shape. Click OK. And now you can actually use that shape in the future. Right. Well, I've done that. That's the first way of doing a, creating a quick shape. Of course, as with most shapes, as it's a vector design, it's a shape layer, you can actually just go over to the direct selection tool. And I'm just going to go and quickly select one of those pass points. And I can just drag it around and create an even more slightly irregular design of a shape. So you can make quite abstract designs very quick and easy. And now another thing, of course, you can actually go to the add anchor and actually just click on that. And just select that, just drag that out. Move it around there. Right, so you've got to, then at that point, <clears throat> you can also go and go to the edit, define custom shape, and save that as well. You think, oh wow, that's a wonderful shape. I'm going to save it. So right, I've done that. And I'm now just going to go right back to the start again, go back to snapshot there. And the next way of doing it would be to use the free form. And I'm just going to, now I'm using a mouse not the most ideal way of doing a pen tool so I'm just going to quickly move that around drag that to create a very irregular path design very abstract design sort of ugh, god knows what go to the start and I've created this design click shape again and I've got another shape so it's a quick and easy way of creating yet another irregular shape again go over to the edit define custom shape and save it right that's the first sort of set of shapes. Now, another good one is actually magnetic option. There's actually using the freeform. I'm just going to select the, I'm just going to quickly create another shape. Just going to just quickly create another shape there. Shape. And now I'm going to select the magnetic. I like the magnetic. It does actually create quick and easy irregular shapes very, very fast. So just going to quickly draw that. And you can actually see it just tries to go back to the actual follows the the line of the path and it's doing a reasonable job but it's like I say it's quite good for actually creating quite irregular paths in itself so I'm just going to click there and that's it it's actually gone over the, the first path right so the magnetic feature is certainly one to consider as well if you want to create irregular shapes right go back to the snapshot and the next option well, I've actually just used it before, and that was the add points option. It's quite good add points, as was the direct selection, so you can really manipulate any existing path. So I'm just going to quickly draw a path at this point. I'm just going to go to the custom shape tool, and I've got paths already. These are graphic extras paths, and I'm just going to select one of the paths. So obviously you can just draw that path, and once you've got an actual path, you can actually go use the direct selection and just drag that out there and make a Fairly irregular, weird and warped design. Very quick and easy, just using those or using the convert pen tool as well. That's another option. You can just drag that out. Right, that's another step. And I'm just going to go back from this point. Next thing to do is the warp. Now, it's not actually really drawing a design, but I'm just going to quickly show you. It's a quick and easy way of creating an irregular shape. So I'm just going to draw just a basic standard rectangle and I'm just going to go to edit transform path warp and I quite like this one I really wish they would extend this feature a bit and actually add a few more uh, 
nodes. But um, anyway, it's fine. Three, it's fine. Three by three. So you can just select one node. Just quickly do this. Quickly drag that out. And that creates a very quick and easy way to create irregular path designs. And I'm just going to drag that out. Click. Check mark there. Now, with CS of the Creative Cloud, you've got live shapes. Of course, this was a live shape. Now it's just been converted to a reg to regular pass. So I'm just going to say yes at that point. And well, this is not really all the way there. So I'm just going to go transform pass. And you can just basically just repeat this. Just get another grid and just warp it even more. And just select the inner points and just drag that out to really distort the path. Right. Again, you could use the define custom shape to save again. Okay. Right, next thing, and I'm just going to go back to the first point, is actually create custom, use custom shapes to create irregular shapes. And I'm just going to select <coughs> the rectangular tool, uh, and there's the first rectangular tool, and I'm just going to go up to here. This is the path operations, and I'm just going to say combine shapes. Right, of course, I could have used a circle or any of the other shapes, but I'm just using these regular shapes to create irregular shapes. So I'm just going to just draw that, draw that, draw another one. And now these are all being combined. Of course, I could use the selection option as well, the subtraction there, etc. There's other options. And I can then just quickly do that. And I'm just going to drag across right there to create a, uh, a slightly unusual thing. Of course, you could put, like I say, circles into it, which I just quickly do that. So you just create some circles over at the end. Right. Define custom shape. And there you are. You've actually got quite an interesting regular shape. Very quick and easy, which you can now go to the custom shape tool. And you will see it in the palette if you go the right way, which of course I don't never do. And it's just there. And of course you can warp that or distort that using the direct selection tools. Okay. Next step and like I say, well, there's other steps. Obviously, you could use Illustrator. That's one of my favorite ones. Just copy it back in. Just use it as a path or smart object or whatever. But the next one, you can actually create really quite interesting irregular shapes using Brush Tool. And I'm just going to go select the Brush Tool. And I'm just going to select, obviously, a sharp, one of these sharp brushes there, just that standard size there, just a small size. And I've set the color to black. And I'm just going to go to Layer, New Layer, click OK, and now just, just basically draw just anything, a regular shape. So I'm just going to just make it sort of tentacles going out there, just different designs. Of course, I could change the size of the, the brush at this point, make different blobs, different things. And I could, if I was using a pen tool, art pad, etc., I could make it more accurate. So just doing that. And now I've done that, I can go to Select, Load selection, click OK, and I've got a selection here, which I can go over now to the path. If I can see it, path, and I can go to make work path, click OK. It's got a work path, define custom shape, and there you are. You've actually got a new custom shape, and I'm just going to just go back to the top. Select the custom shape tool, and I'm just going to select that shape. And that was the shape I just created. So you can just drag that out and just use it multiple times in the design. So that's a quick, easy way of creating irregular shapes, drawing irregular shapes in Photoshop.